Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So usually we would be posting our Trader Joe's taste test video today, but Follow Your Heart sent us this box of a bunch of their stuff for us to try for you guys, so. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see what kind of good stuff that's in here. So let's open. Here we go. We got this late last night. We came home from the uh, downtown doing some sightseeing downtown and it was on our front porch so it's called follow your heart let's see what we got now this is all vegan stuff right right whoa look they sent us the vegan egg vegan eggs i wanted to try that so look bad. at that vegan eggs from follow your heart okay what else we got vegan parmesan cheese Follow your heart. Vegan sour cream. Ooh, that sounds really good. Wow. Vegan cream cheese. Wow. This company is real. What? Vegan Caesar dressing. Caesar salad dressing? Yep. I love Caesar salad dressing. Do you? Yep. And it's vegan. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this. Cheese. Ha <laughs> ha. Vegan cheese? Come on. I thought you couldn't eat cheese if you were vegan. Not true. And more cheese. This is a block cheese. See it? Block. And this is sliced cheese. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip up a couple recipes. We're gonna make like, oh, I don't know, maybe a grilled cheese. cheese sandwich with this. Cheese and crackers, um, maybe? With yeah, this. some cheese and crackers with this we could try. Uh, we'll, bagel. A bagel, a really nice pumpkin bagel. With or the cream cheese. With some cream cheese spread on top of it. Oh, this is the cream cheese, sorry. Cream cheese spread on top of it. Um, sour cream, what can we do with the sour cream? We'll think of something, right? And then this. Salad. So this company is called Follow Your Heart. Look online. They have a website mm -hmm. that you can like get this stuff, give it a try. But we'll be right back after we cook this food and we'll see, we'll grade it one to ten what we think and what we recommend for you guys to buy. <laughs> Hey, we're back oh, with God. our, uh, we did, we made all of our stuff, right? Yep. With our Follow Your Heart brands items, all vegan stuff that we have. We made all kinds of different things here. So the first thing we made is we made a grilled cheese sandwich with... These American style slices. Follow Your Heart. And we're going to give it a try. We made it with 12 grain bread, which is very healthy for you. Ready? And vegan butter. Mmm. My first impression is I like it. Me too. This if you don't like, like it, just say it. I do like it, I just yeah. like it. Mm hmm. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes creamy, right? This is like the most real tasting cheese to me. Yeah. Like this does not taste vegan at all. Tastes really good. Tastes very rich and creamy. Mm -hmm. Not clumping. Um, Doesn't have that weird yogurt taste to it either. See it? How creamy it is. Now American cheese is... Um, Notorious for being made out of vegetable oil and yellow dye. This isn't. And you know how sometimes when uh, grilled cheese will sit for a minute, it like gets hard, kind of tastes nasty. It does not. Mm -hmm. Right? This is a 10. The yeah. cheese is a 10. Yeah, I would definitely recommend Follow Your Heart Vegan American Cheese. For grilled cheese sandwiches, um, really good, really tasty. Mm -hmm. 
All you have to do is lightly butter, get some vegan butter, some 12 grain bread, and you're all, you don't have to worry about, go the other way, white bread, plain butter, processed American cheese, heart attack, okay? This is awesome right here. Right? Yeah, it is really good, yeah. Mmm, I loved it. Me too. Yeah, eat that? No, I am, but I want mm. to try the other stuff. Man, I love that. <laughs> right? Yeah. That was really good. That's a 10. That is a 10. Follow your heart, American cheese. 10 plus. 10 plus. All right. What's next? Eggs. Eggs? Okay. So, they sent us this package. Believe it or not, okay, it looks like it contains four eggs. It actually contains eight eggs. That's 10 to 12. 10 to 12 eggs. Okay. So, we did the directions, and it was um, 1.5 1, 1. milligrams of water, which is about that much water in your measuring cup, and two tablespoons of water. We whisked it up, and we cooked it just like you would cook eggs. And that's supposed to equal one egg, and that looks like one egg to me, you know. So, we're going to try it. I'm going to try it without the bagel. Without the bagel. Oh, I'm going to move this. So I can get to it. Mm -hmm. I'm put this here. Okay. Nope. So, without the bagel first. Kind of clumpy. The texture is kind of like a real egg, but I feel like it's something you have to eat right away. Yeah, and we just made it. It's been sitting here for like maybe five to seven minutes, I think. Mm. I'm not that into it. We didn't put no salt, no pepper. Like, who eats just a plain scrambled egg? I, I don't know if you do, but... I think if you added, say, some peppers... They made like an omelet with this stuff. Just as a plain egg. It's but again, there's no salt. I didn't add no salt or nothing, right? Right. So it's bland. It's very it has bland. It's kind of a funky taste to it though. Okay, now I'm gonna try it on a bagel with vegan butter on it. I'd eat it. If I was at a taste test, it was like, okay, here's one and here's another, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I'd take this over tofu scramble. Yeah. Now, this is typically how I, I eat a vegan egg. I have vegan eggs I make. They're, um, like a powder, just like this. This came in a powder. This is a powder. And when I make them, this is typically how I make I, I eat them on a bagel. I don't just eat like, oh, let me have a bite of that with nothing at all. I like to add ingredients. I give it like a seven. But I think if you added stuff to it, it could be like a nine. Yep. I'll go seven and a half. And they're good. <laughs> they taste good. Next, you want to try bagel. Follow your heart. Remember that brand. Bagel with cream cheese. Yep. Now we have. Follow your heart, vegan cream cheese. Who would ever think cream cheese could be vegan? I mean, come on. I've only ever had tofu cream cheese, and theirs is really good. Yeah. So. so that's what it looks like. They don't skimp on the container. It's filled all the way to the top. Oh, creamy. It's creamy. Ooh, creamy. How much you want on there? Like that, or you want more? Just a little bit more. More? Yeah. It's very creamy. You can tell it's like spreading real nice. 
that other ve that other cream cheese it's normally because like, it's got all that process like fats pretty sure cream cheese is made out of a lot of milk fats you know now I'm gonna put some on mine my bagel you could take some uh, fresh strawberries if you want blueberries stuff like that ready mix with it You like it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Tastes like regular cream cheese to me. Follow your heart. I give it like a eight and a half. I'll go nine. And if you put like fresh strawberries, yeah. you put them in your um processor you need to take any kind of fresh fruit and make a preserve out of it just put it in there two seconds and you got it it's all squished up so follow your heart it's like anybody with heart problems their doctor says stay away from cream cheese right yeah. Stay away from butter. Yeah. Stay away from deep fried foods. Stay away from this. Stay away from that. They have this product that it's available for people with heart problems or people who don't want heart problems, like me. I think it tastes really good. Just follow your heart, Graham. We like it a lot. Next, can we try the dip? Okay. Now we have a follow your heart sour cream. Another item that your doctor would say stay away from that stop. Is this runnier than regular sour cream? Yeah. No. 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 Oh. No, looks normal. So. Follow your heart. Gourmet sour cream. Vegan. Alright. And then we have some Trader Joe tortilla chips. That are all natural. I think these are made out of what? Flax seed. Quinoa. Not salty. Nothing like that. Nothing bad for you. Just dip a little bit in there. Give it a try. Mm. Wow. I like that a lot. That's like the best. It has so much thing flavor. I've ever had. Yeah. That could be because of the dip pack though. Okay, so <laughs> I added this ranch dip flavoring to the sour cream. We checked on it, it's vegan. There's no milk, there's no eggs, nothing. It's a dry mix you can buy at your local grocery store. You add it to the sour cream, and it's so good. You can't even tell it's vegan. Wow, that is really good. I like that a lot. I know. I love dip, but I can't. I never eat it because it's like can't have vegan sour cream. Can't get no vegan sour cream. <laughs> and all the dips all full of crap. Lo and behold, follow your heart came to the rescue. Right? Yep. That's a 10. Man, I love that dip. That's so good. Look at that. You can have a football party with all your friends. Have the dip. The wife should be like, Honey, you shouldn't eat that, that dip. You know what your doctor said. It's like, but it's vegan. But it's vegan. From follow, follow your, your heart. heart. It's so easy to remember that brand. Follow your heart, right? Yeah. I think this company is going to go really far. Don't you? Yeah. Follow your heart. Just think of the whole term. Everything here is for your heart. Without your heart, what happens? 
you die. Okay? Yeah. You got it under control or what? Yeah, All right. Sorry. Okay. Jeez. All right, now we're going to go with some follow your heart. Mozzarella cheese. Look at that. Another item that your doctor would say, stay away from that, stay away from it. You know, clog your heart, clog your arteries. You're overweight, don't eat You're it. You're overweight, don't eat it. Okay. So we'll put that right there so you can see what we got. And here's what we made. Look at that, fresh baked, Fresh baked baguette with some of this at a football party. At a football party. Right? Yep. Tastes good to me. I love mozzarella cheese. It has more of the Daya type flavor. So if you like Daya, you'd like this. Mm-hmm. This isn't melted. And the and texture is really nice. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm gonna try a piece without the baguette. You wanna try a piece without the baguette? Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Put it okay. Let me get this one. Let me try it. The more you eat it, the more it tastes like regular cheese. I mean, that's what she says. My first bite, to me, I love cheese, okay? I'm actually amazed. Really, seriously, and honestly. the ingredients, there's like nothing in it. It's like six things. Like, I cannot believe, like, there is certain cheese that she's mentioned, certain brands that we've tried. Uh, on a grilled cheese, it, it tastes good. Um... Melted on some on a piece of bread. Like, like pizza. Yeah, we've made vegan pizzas with vegan pepperoni. It tastes good. It melts well, but for some reason, when you taste it plain, it just has like a I don't know a soapy yeah. type clumpy. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this to me tastes like regular mozzarella cheese. It really does. I don't know about you. You don't like mozzarella cheese, do you? Yeah, I love mozzarella cheese. Try that piece. Just try I it. I did. I'll break it in half. As soon as I bite into it, all I it feel it tastes is flavor. Ain't it? Yes, it's good. Just flavor. Mozzarella flavor. I give it like a... Ten. Eight and a half. Ten. Buy it. Right here. Follow your heart. Mozzarella cheese. You can have your Super Bowl party, you have cheese platters set out for your friends. You can have dip set yeah, out. The dip is so good. Right? Yeah. You can have dip set out for your friends. Um, you know, for your breakfast. You know, I mean, if you're having problems with your heart, or even if you're not having problems with your heart, you don't want to cause problems with your heart. You'd be like, I just enjoy bagels, but I can't have sour cream, or I mean cream cheese on them. Because this is a clogs up your heart and your arteries. This won't. Will not do it. Right? Right. So you can have some vegan eggs in the morning with a nice cream cheese bagel. And you can go to work feeling happy about yourself. So we still got a couple more items here um, from the company that they sent us. And... The last item we have is, there are two items actually. We made a spinach salad, because we love spinach. They sent us a vegan Caesar salad dressing. I love dressing. Caesar dressing. Now, if anybody's ever made homemade Caesar salad dressing or anything, you know it contains and it's full of anti-healthy heart items, such as oil, and eggs and cheese loaded with it so we're going to try that and then who doesn't like their caesar salad dressing with some parmesan cheese on it right right i hope this is this parmesan is good because for pastas and stuff yep yep 
we haven't been having no Parmesan cheese on our pasta or nothing because we haven't been able to find any vegan. This is follow your heart, Bram. So let's go. Shake it first. Just a shake it. Bit. Give it a shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay. Here we go. Right? Yeah. It's organic also. Organic. Ready? Yep. Excuse me. Look how nice and creamy it is. How much? Uh, that's probably good. Don't you think? Yep. You want to try a little bit without it? She sticks her finger in it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. No, that's like better than regular. Am I allowed to stick my finger in there? Yeah. I am? Yeah. My cut off finger? No. <laughs> Right? Wow, that is real good. Okay, now we're gonna put some shake cheese on here. You know how you like to put a little shake cheese on there. Say one. That's good. Okay, wanna try a little bit on your plate? Sure. Like cheese. cheese, yep. You know, a lot of times that Parmesan cheese, if you buy the cheap brand, it tastes salty. That didn't it taste salty. salty. So, do you want to mix it up? Sure. Mix it up a little bit. Go to uh, Olive Garden. Say, yeah, I want Caesar salad dressing, please, and I want vegan Caesar salad dressing. <laughs> uh -huh. Not likely. Not likely. They'll be like, sorry, you have to eat the polluted crap we have. Right? Come on, Bob. Good. That's so good. That's a wow. 10. Tastes better than regular. Mm-hmm. Follow your heart. Holy moly! Look at that. I can't. Look at it. Follow your heart. Look at that. That's so good. Yeah. If you ate this stuff on a, a just regular stuff, then you went to the doctor the next day, they'd be yelling at you, wouldn't they? Yeah. So what are you doing? What are you doing? They, then you say, oh, it was all vegan. Follow your heart. You'd be like, oh, oh you're, you're the, the best. best. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Man, we almost ate that whole salad that quick. That's good. That is so good. So I used to work at this uh, private yacht club. We make all, everything from scratch. It was an Italian family room. And the pride and joy was, of course, their pasta salads. But they're... Caesar salad dressing, we would make it. I seen what will go in it. Trust me, eggs, mayonnaise. I mean, uh, salad oil, cheeses. I mean, it was so delicious. But I mean, a lot of Italians are a little bit on the heavy side sometimes, right? Yeah. Okay. Try it. I More. did try it. Eat the rest. Um. Really, really strong flavor, right? Yeah. Really, like, not a watered-down flavor. That's my new favorite dressing. The American cheese is my new favorite cheese. Yep. And the sour cream is my new favorite sour cream. So this is everything we got. And we taste it. Test it. Can what you would you that, rate the dressing? 10 plus. Ten plus. Okay. Is this everything we got? Uh, oh. there's the American cheese. I don't know where it is. Oh. Okay. So here we go. We got all the stuff that they gave us. All right. The American cheese. I give this a ten. Ten. All the way to the top. Ten. That's like. Way to the it top. It seems like real cheese. Yup. Mozzarella, 10, 
All the way. It's like eight and a half. I go with a ten. If it was melted, it might. That's what I'm surprised. Me. Like, wow. I mean, I cannot believe it. That I tasted it, not melted, nothing. It was really, really good, rich in flavor and everything. Awesome. The cream cheese. Ten. A ten. Vegan. Like I said, you mix it up a little, put some preserve. Uh, Oh, I got some strawberries in my backyard. Or go to the farmer's market, get some blueberries. You know, some people like it. You know, you just roll it in. It's still all natural and great for you. Right? Yep. Okay. Um, That's vegan. 10 plus. Yeah, this. That's crazy. Was insane. That right there. Follow your heart. Okay. The sour cream. 10. For me, this was a big deal because now I can eat dip. Before I couldn't eat dip, I wasn't allowed. I, there was none available. I was like, okay, I can't. I can't eat dip. I like watch other people eating dip at parties, <laughs> and I can't eat that dip. You can't eat that dip. Well, I don't. So uh, sour cream, uh, 10, 10 plus, 10. opened up big doors for me. Now I can start eating dip again. And it's something I really missed. I mean, and because of Follow Your Heart brand, there we go. We can eat it. I love it. Here's another one that opened doors up for me. Ten. I have missed this so much, but went to Trader Joe's, which has really good product. Whole Foods, really good products and stuff like that. But we can't find no vegan um, Parmesan cheese. Now we have some from Follow Your Heart. And then the last item was the vegan eggs. I think if you messed around with it a little bit and added right. things, maybe made like an egg sandwich or something like that, it'd be really good. Yeah, I rated it. Okay, remind, no salt, no pepper. I added nothing to it just because we wanted to give you guys a feeling of the raw taste of it. I would say a seven. You add some salt or not salt maybe some some peppers you know a lot of vegetables have their own you know flavors come out and they go into the egg some vegan cheese yeah some vegan cheese from follow your heart i think this would be a 10 if you you know on that bagel it went up to an eight and a half just that little bit of flavoring you know i don't know how many people eat just Oh, I'm just gonna have a raw egg with no flavoring at all. Okay, I don't know. But overall, this brand of Follow Your Heart, again, if you look at this product, it's all dairy type stuff. And what does dairy stuff do to you? Bad stuff. And what's it do to your heart? Bad stuff. Clogs it up. <laughs> uh, and people my age, Right? Yeah. You go to the hospitals, read the papers. Americans are heart disease. What? How many people die of heart disease? A lot. Right, yeah. Like, okay, I forget. More than, okay, let's say more than 10,000, I would say. Yeah. Right? Follow, die from heart disease? Yeah. More than 20,000 probably a year die from heart disease. Right? It's the number one killer. It's the number one killer of Americans, yeah. right? Yeah. Now look at this. None of the, why? Why do they do it when they have this stuff? I don't know. I don't get it. This stuff, I think this, whoever made this company <clears throat> and everything, it's going to go right, right to the to top because of their flavor and everything. Because, I mean, we have tried a lot of vegan, like, okay, cheeses. Uh, not that no, great. Right. But you put it on a grilled cheese. Oh, it tastes okay. And you can order a lot of this online, or um, most Whole Foods carry their products. Whole Foods does carry their product? Yeah. So go to Whole Foods and you can get this product. I wasn't aware of it. Yeah. Um, She does more of the social media, like stuff like that, looking. I just help her out with the tasting of it. I'm always looking for stuff that's going to help me be healthier and stuff like that. You know, and if you start now when you're young, when you get older, like my age, whatever, you won't have those problems, those medical. If the whole country would do that. Wow. What a great. Wow, what a great. 
right? Yeah. She exercises, she does P90X, she does, um, we drink green juice, keep watching her videos, we just put one up yesterday that shows a lemon uh, ginger power drink we make, you know, you don't drink the rock stars, Mountain Dew, coffee, Monster. Monsters, Red Bull, Red Bull, that stuff is like, Ugh. and it's expensive. We bought a whole bag of lemons for like three dollars. We could probably make it last the whole week, right? Yep. So keep watching our site. Okay, so don't forget tomorrow we'll be back on schedule with our Trader Joe taste test. We got lots of great stuff planned for you with our special guest. We'll be here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, leave any comments or questions you guys have in the comment section down below. I'll leave Follow Your Hearts uh, website in the description box for you guys. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.